Good morning, St. John's. Pastor Sarah here. It is Wednesday. It's also Earth Day, the 50th anniversary of Earth Day, in fact, so I'm trying to do a post from outside. I don't know how well it's going to work, and there's noise, and there's extra things going on, but that's all right. Um, I thought maybe you'd enjoy a view from outside the church. I can sort of show you the bell tower, the church building, um, our tree that's not very pink anymore. I love when that tree is pink, but it's not very pink right now, but that's all right. Um, I don't know if you've noticed some of the stories about creation, about the earth itself that have been going around lately. I've been amazed um, the, how the earth has been healing itself over the last few months. It's been quite amazing to me that I just saw a story this morning, for example, about how in Venice, Italy, you can see sea life swimming in the canals for the first time in decades because there's no boat traffic and so there's no pollution, there's no yuckiness there and so all of a sudden you can see all this sea life swimming in the canals and perhaps these months um, have been good for the earth, like the quiet, the um, healing that has come and maybe we need to hear about that for ourselves. So often we don't take time to slow down but right now we are forced to and we have to we have to slow down and wait and breathe and trust that god is healing us and healing others and maybe it's really good for us good to take a break and to heal from whatever it is that um hurts us and we have and this forces us to stop and listen and wait and maybe that's what the earth needs and what we need as well I thought today for Earth Day we'd take a little bit of a break from our psalms that we've been reading and hear the words of the first creation story from Genesis. I know that I like to think of this as a poem um, of praise of how God created the heavens and the earth, not the literal telling of how God did it, because we don't know how God did it. We don't know if it was seven calendar days like we see. We don't know those things, but we do know that God did it with love and saw that it was good and was pleased with the earth that God had created. So this is a little bit longer than our usual readings. And I, like I said, I am outside, so we'll do our, the best we can with a little bit of wind. And, but it's beautiful out. The sun is shining. And when I'm done with the reading, I'll kind of work my way around to show you some more of the grounds and um, just have a good day for Earth Day. So here's a reading from the first chapter of the book of Genesis. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was a formless void and darkness covered the face of the deep while a wind from God swept over the face of the waters. Then God said, let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning the first day. And then God said, let there be a dome in the midst of the waters, and let it separate the waters from the waters. So God made the dome and separated the waters that were under the dome from the waters that were above the dome and it was so god called the dome sky and there was evening and there was morning the second day and then god said let the waters under the sky be gathered together into one place and let dry land appear and it was so god called the dry land earth and the waters he called teas and god saw that it was good and then God said, let the earth put forth vegetation, plants yielding seeds and fruit trees of every kind on earth that bear fruit with the seed in it. And it was so. The earth brought forth vegetation, the plants yielding seeds of every kind and trees of every kind bearing fruit with seed in it. God saw that that was good. And there was evening and there was morning the third day. And God said, let there be lights in the dome of the sky to separate the day from the night and let them be signs for seasons and for days and years, and let them be lights in the dome of the sky to give light upon the earth. And it was so. God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night and the stars. God set them in the dome in the sky to give light to the earth, to rule over the day and over the night, and to separate the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening and there was morning the fourth day. And God said, let the waters bring forth swarms of living creatures and let birds fly above the earth across the dome of the sky. So God created the great sea monsters and every living creature that moves of every kind with which the waters swarm and every winged bird of every kind. And God saw that it was good. God blessed them saying, be fruitful and multiply and fill the waters in the seas and let the birds multiply on earth. 
and it was evening and it was morning, the more, fifth day. And then God said, let the earth bring forth creatures of every kind, cattle and creeping things and wild animals of the earth of every kind. And it was so. So God made the wild animals of the earth and everything that creeps upon the ground of every kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let us make humankind in our image according to our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the air and over the cattle and over the wild animals of the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created humankind in his image. In his image, God, he created them, male and female, he created them. God blessed them and God said to them, be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the air and over every living thing that moves upon the earth. God said, see, I have given you every plant yielding seed that is upon the face of the earth and every tree with seed and its fruit, you shall have them for food and to every beast of the earth and to every bird of the air and to everything that creeps on the earth everything that has breath of life i have given every green plant for food and so it was god saw everything that he had made and indeed it was very good and there was evening and there was morning the sixth day thus the heavens and the earth were finished and all their multitude and on the seventh day god finished the work he had done and he rested on the seventh day from all the work that he had done so god blessed the day and hallowed it because on it god rested from all the work that he had done in all of creation on this day as we stand outside together we can see the beauty of god's creation in just this one little space and i pray that you are able to appreciate god's earth this day on earth day to take care of it to plant something perhaps to love it and to just appreciate the gift that god has given us in our creation around us Let's pray. God, we thank you for the work that you did in creation and for creating us, for trusting us to care for your earth. Help us to care for it better, to care for it and to see that it is good beyond measure. You are so good, God, and we thank you for all you have given us, for the birds that we hear singing, for the wind that blows, for the trees that blossom, and for the earth that you have made. Hear us as we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. My friends, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope you enjoy Earth Day. I pray that you are safe and healthy and warm. My hands are kind of cold right now. It's a little bit chilly outside today, but that's all right. I wanted to be outside and in this space with you. So please, please be safe and healthy and know that God is with us. Take care of one another, and let's today especially take care of the Earth. Bye-bye.